So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how to use GPT-5 in creating AI agents and chatbots for your clients and for local businesses. And GPT-5 literally just came out a few days ago. So if you can be first on this and you have the most advanced chatbot on the market and you can proudly say that. Now in this video, I'm not going to go through all the differences and advantages that GPT-5 has over everybody else because there's a million videos for that. And in this video, similar to what I do on my channel, is I show you how you can make money with the latest AI tools and the advances that are happening because I'm sure that's what 99% of people even care about. So this is the opportunity that you have in front of you. So today I'm going to show you how to build a GPT-5 AI SMS agent in under 10 minutes. And the, the objective that we're going to build is a restaurant staff replacement agent. So basically, it's going to be something that you can sell to a restaurant to replace a waiter while people are waiting to ask questions, specials, pricing, things like that. So this is actually super valuable. And the way that it's going to work is it's pretty simple. So a message comes in from the customer as they're waiting. The message goes to GPT-5, which is going to act as the brain. It's going to process the response based on how we train it. And then it's going to output the response back in SMS format. So it's, the customer is going to have a back and forth dialogue with the agent, which is really cool. So by the end of this, you're going to know exactly how to build it. And it's not going to be very complicated. So the software that we're going to be using is high level. So if you're not familiar with high level, that's what we're going to be using to send the SMSs and have these actual conversations. But more specifically, my version of high level. So I've white labeled it. I've created my own version. It's called Hexona Systems, but the op they operate in the exact same way. So you can use either one. We're also going to use make.com. So make.com is what's going to allow Hexona to speak with GPT-5. And we're going to access GPT-5 via something called Open Router because as of this video, GPT-5's API is pretty unstable. It's not working the way that I think they intended. So Open Router is like a medium which contains all the LLMs like DeepSea, Quen, ChatGPT, Claude. It basically holds all of them and it allows us to use Open Router to access all these LLMs. So it's almost like a bridge or a third party. You don't need to worry too much about those details, but I'm going to show you how to get it set up in just a second. And real quick, if you don't know who I am, my name is Hamza Beg. I go by Hamza Automates on social platforms. I run an award-winning seven-figure AI automation agency. I've won Go High Levels Platinum SaaS Preneur Award, putting me in the top 50 out of 60,000 agencies. I also run one of the biggest AI automation-based school communities in the world with 40,000 plus members, which I'll talk to you a bit about at the end. So if you want access to any of the prompts or the templates that we go through here, then they will be available inside of my school community afterwards. All right, so just jumping into our first software, this is Hexona or High Level, Go High Level. So inside of their automation builder, I have this automation called the master brain and literally you can build this entire thing with just one automation and this is as complicated as it gets these are you know it's less than 10 steps so it's really really cool now the way that it works is it gets triggered in two scenarios one is if the customer sends us a message so if the customer you know, says hey what are the specials today then we want the brain to activate we also want the brain to activate in a second scenario when the GPT-5's response is ready to be sent back to the customer, then we also want the brain to wake up. So input and output will both trigger the, the brain. So it comes down here when the message is sent and it checks, did this workflow get triggered by the customer sending us a message or GPT's response being ready? And based on that, it's going to go down two different paths. If it was triggered by a customer sending us a message, then what we want to do is we want to capture that message. What did they say? And we're going to send that message to make.com. So make.com can receive it, send it to OpenAI to GPT-5, process the response and send it back to us. So this is the first flow. We're going to get the response and send it out. The second flow is that if we actually receive that response uh, back from make.com once it was processed, then all we want to do is we want to wait a few seconds and then we want to send that response back to the customer as a SMS basically. So we receive the response, we send it back to them as an SMS. So it's very simple. We get the message and we send it out. I'm going to show you this in action as well, but this is the structure. And this is available as a template as well, so don't feel like you need to remake this from scratch. I don't want to make this super complicated for you. So let's go down to the first scenario. So customer sends a reply, the message goes down here, and then we send the webhook to make.com. Now, what does that look like? If you're not familiar with what a webhook is, basically it's like a way to just send data around the internet. So like if I send a webhook from Hexona to make, there's basically the only thing I need is an address. It's like a destination. Where are you sending this? It's like if you were mailing something, right? So um, once I copy this address here, if I do copy to address, I go back to Hexona, Inside of the webhook, all you need is a URL. It's basically asking, where am I sending this data? Where, where's the destination? So you just put in the address over there, you save it. Now, every time this is triggered, make.com is going to receive that message via webhook and start the process. Now, once this webhook is triggered, meaning we've received the data from Hexona, we want to then send it to Open Router. Open Router is a software that contains GPT-5. So this is where you throw your prompt in there. This is just a basic one I've put for the restaurant use case. 
Um, that is for the system and then for the user, you just want to put the message body, meaning that what was the message that we got from the customer inside of Hexona, put that here. So Open Router can tell GPT-5, this is what they said, I need a response to this message. And then the models, this is the exciting part, here you have access to all of their models, but you want to pick GPT-5 chat. For some reason, they also have um, GPT-5. The, most people make this mistake. GPT-5 does not work for some reason inside Open Router. So pick GPT-5 chat and then it does work. Now, once Open Router generates that response for us, we want to send that response back to, to high level. The way that we do that is we basically put the contact ID which came from the webhook. So who are we sending this conversation back to? put their phone number as well as like a secondary check so it can match the phone number and the contact ID. So we definitely are sending it back to the right person. And then finally, we want to have uh, the response that we generated from Open Router. We just want to paste that variable in here. So if I open up uh, choices, message, content, so that's where the response the, the GPT-5's output lives inside of this variable. We just want to put that inside this field over here called LLM response. The reason we want to update this field called LLM response is because that's how this workflow gets triggered. That's how the brain inside of Hexona gets awoken up because make.com tells, tells us that GPT-5's response was ready whenever they update the field LLM response has changed, meaning a new response from GPT-5 has been put inside of this variable, which is going to wake up this workflow and send us that response. So this is like almost the container for the message. I'll show you this in practice right now, um, but that's how you set it up. Open router and stuff are super easy to sign up. Just go to them, create an account, and then connect them to make.com like regular, and then just make sure you have an open AI API. If anyone doesn't um, understand that, then you can leave a comment and I can make a follow-up video, but that stuff's super simple. If you're watching this, I imagine you know how to do that already. So next, I'm going to show you this whole workflow in action, okay? So I'm gonna open up my phone and I'm going to message, hey, what's your specials today? So I just sent that message. I'm gonna to go to the conversations tab. You can see that it was just received over here pretty much automatically, I just texted it. Now. Oh, I should go back here. I should save that. So you can see here, perfect. The webhook was received. Open router generated the response from GPT-5 and then sent that response back to high level. And then if I open up the message here, you can see perfect. Today's specials are our barbecue pulled pork burger with sweet, uh, sweet potato. So perfect. It's basically generated that response for us, right? Automatically. And this is using GPT-5. And the way that I can show you how that works is that so you can see here that the input message was, hey, what's your specials today? And then the output message, which is over here, was the message that we received. Today's specials are blah, blah, blah. And so Open Router got the message that I sent and then it outputted the appropriate response. Now, what did it do with that response? So it generated this, it put that response back inside of here. Inside the LLM response, we basically dumped that whole message um, to output that um, of the output and then what happened is because we updated the high-level LLM response field that triggered our master brain so meaning that I said hey what are your specials that goes con customer replied it goes down here customer what are your specials goes down here and then what are your specials get sent to make.com then it said our specials are pulled pork that triggered this came all the way down here and sent me an SMS just like that so that's really how it works you can just go back and forth like that and I can say uh, the pork sounds good. Are you, I don't eat pork by the way. Are you free at 5 p.m. or are you open at 5 p.m.? So I'll just send another follow-up message and then you will see this work the exact same way. So once again, if I go back, once again, this will get triggered and then the workflow will continue. Yes, we are open at 5 p.m. today and we serve until 10 p.m. Would you like me to reserve a table for you? So it's actively trying to book a table. So I've already trained it to do that. So this is exactly how you set it up. It's very simple to do. And now you have access to GPT-5, which is the opportunity that you have in front of you. So if you want to access to the prompt and the templates and everything that I showed you guys here, I do have my school community, which is completely free. It's school.com slash automate. So you can get access. Sorry, I had to pause the video. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a helicopter like flying by nearby. 
Um, but if you want to get access to everything that I've shown you guys here and you want to start building GPT-5 agents, then I have my free school committee, which you can join with the link in the description. And everything you can find will be in the resource vault and in the classroom here. If you want to work directly with me one-on-one -on -one and you just want my team to build everything out for you and just basically run the back end of your agency, then I do have a done-for-you type system where you can basically leverage my agency's expertise, my case studies, all of that stuff. And you can book a call to become a partner with us through that in the link in the description as well. So loads of ways for us to work together, but really, but really building this is gonna give you an advantage over everybody else because GPT-5 is so new and there's so much hype around it and truly the responses are better than anything that I've been seeing around here. So feel free to jump in, get in touch with me and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you guys soon.